Hello and welcome back, as I run away from this whole here. We are back for another episode of Cassette Beasts, and we're going to fight a cultist. Let's do it. Stop. I can sense the pain within you, my friend. You suffer because you desire to be home. Allow me to end your pain. Become a tribute to the angels. Good God, you're bold. Okay. Let's... Let's go cat five and we'll just go spit. Thank you for the multi target. Very appreciated. And give her a double smack. And a torrent. Yeah, I can do conductiveness too, mate. Look at that. Isn't it special? Okay, whack a load down. Wing loom. Give her a charge and I'll switch you out into Maskatorn just to get on ahead of things. Fusion's back now. It's cool. And battery should just end it to be honest, but we'll do it. Cool. Existence is suffering. Sounds mate. Just like the jumpiest little snake of all time. I hate that chance of like escape as well. It's like so terrible. No because you will go no farther until you repent of your shins. My shins, okay. Switch into Spitfire. Give her a spit. In flame should should do the trick. I'll give her a torrent as well, just in case. damage. German gold, the preemptive stime. Okay. Give her never in flame. And a spit as well. Sharpen. Big damage. Okay. German gold down. Kill this down. Wait, it's meant to be repent of your sins. I can't believe I had it all, all wrong this time. Okay. Where do I need to put this down so I can lock that? It looks like I kind of definitely avoided a lot of fights. Seems like we've done most of the colours now. I don't think there's any more lurking so much. Just head down here, Let's see what's going on. I seem to remember there being something going on here. Did we already do this? That's not what I expected it to be, but you're just in the way. 
Do I need to... God. Right. I did not make it. Okay, cool. Stoked that. Pretty sure it's gonna be open now, isn't it? Pretty sure I've already done it. I need to get this way to get back. That is bullshit. That is such bullshit. Move. Ooh, drippings. Okay. That's cool actually. I can I can benefit from this. So let's use ferrochrome tape and a spit. Fine. Spit is be quite high anyway, right? Ferrochrome tape. Good damage, level sixteen, so yeah, hundred percent. Broadcast. Welcome to the team. Trifix. The metal exterior of Trifix is completely impenetrable. It is speculated it is actually an organic creature piloting some sort of exoskeleton or transport vessel. That's a massive range attack, damn. Good speed as well. Good, good uh, stickers. Good range of stickers. Uh, clean up here. I think we're done in this cave, aren't we? Or in this area, so I might use this as an opportunity to get back to Hoy Lake. I oh, know we haven't done this. Okay. Gear shear. Hits one target multiple times. Damn, that's good. Really like. Yes. Wait a while to use it, but really good. Hits on target multiple times with reduced priority compared to other moves. Hits 35 times with 50 power. That is very, very powerful. If it gets hit. Okay. I think I'm, yeah, I'm calling this done with uh, the cult. So, what I shall do is go back and chill at the Gramophone Cafe for a little sec. Meredith. I did have some engineering work to do back at the shop, but I might just swerve it for now. Yeah, you gotta take a break sometimes, buddy. Wait, did you just say now? What did you say now? Uh, I said I had some engineering work to do? What did you say after that? I was gonna swerve it? Is that a phrase? To swerve something? No, oh, I mean, yeah. Like, if you're going to skip out on doing something or going somewhere, that's you swerving it. Okay, gotcha. I shall embrace your usual slang of an open mind. I think I'm going to swerve this whole conversation. Swerve away. Swerve away. I like the idea that these guys are just all chilling in the cafe, waiting for me to, like, hang out with them. Clement's found this at the market earlier and acquired it for me. Guitar, cool. Is it in good condition? It has a bit of seawater aroma to it, but to be honest, so does half the junk in Harbour Town. How does it sound? Good question. Are you ready? Bad. That sounds like a real work in progress. Don't worry. Everyone I knew we're all is used to things being a bit broken. Nothing we have elbow grease can't fix. And by elbow grease, I mean manual labour. You'll be hearing me play this beauty in no time. Yes, yeah, Harry, go on. Cross your fingers and maybe it'll come true. Level four. Damn, we're getting so close. Is that level five? Might honestly just be worth sticking it out just to see it. See what happens. Uh, let's get to talk to Hoy Lake. Oh, there's nothing else to talk to. I was speaking to Maris Piper earlier. You know the lady who runs the farm over the creek? She reckons some land keepers set up shop somewhere near her farm. It's worrying, right? That farm supplies most of Harbour Town's food. If the land keepers could control of it. Okay, that's way over. 
Good job, Dale. Ooh. Captain Cleo, I simply found it difficult to sympathize with the plight of the human race. That's understandable, but people can be confusing, unpredictable. Nah, I disagree. Humans are not unpredictable. You can predict their behavior very easily, in fact. Human beings will make the stupidest decision possible in any given scenario as long as there isn't even a minuscule short term reward. I appreciate your honest analysis, Cleo. Humans generally don't make decisions based on the odds, they make them based on their emotions. So do I. It is my emotions that make tell me that mankind is inherently stupid and will eventually sow the seeds of its own destruction. Well, until that happens, your services and rangers will be still be valued. Hmm. Cool little character moments. Clearly we've done quite a lot for that to have happened. Have you been to Ham before? You know, that little valley west of Eastern Woods where Captain Lowstein hangs out? I haven't... I have been there, but have I been there? That is the question. Greetings, my eager assistant. Have you recorded our mystery monster? We're looking for a crow with a hood and a mask, spotted in the Deadlands. Excellent. Once again, you prove to be a capable researcher. Never more, is it? Cool. Alas, we have but one monster left on my list of pressing investigations. Yen herself spoke of a creature that flees if it catches even a glimpse of a human being. Supposedly a wooden faced elf in the park. If this sounds like something you'll be able to record, I wish you good good fortune. Pretty sure we've already found that, right? Greetings, my eager assistant. Have you recorded our mystery monster? We're looking for a wooden faced elf spotted in the park. Oh, you managed to record it? The elfless? Aye. What could the significance of this be? Perhaps there is some deep psychic connection between how human beings perceive faces and how these monsters manifest into being. It could also simply be that the masks look rather cool. I must congratulate you on your abilities. Why? At this rate, I feel like I, I am the assistant and you are the scientist. The truth is, I'm not actually a professor or, or a scientist. Before I washed ashore New World, I was a corporate salary man. I am less a patron of science and more a patron of science fiction. Even still, I must remain rational. Coming here has given my life a new purpose. I may not, be, may not be a real professor, but I believe my efforts here can still be valuable. Thank you for your unrelenting assistance to the scientific courts, my friend. You set an example for us all. Quest complete on the hunt. Hoylake finished. If you ever want to help by cataloging further, come chat with me again. There will always be something new to investigate. Gritchen's Cast, how many different species do you recorded out there? 49. Thank you for your work. Here's some compensation for your time. Wow. Damn. That is pretty good. Come chat with me again when you reach 50. Oh, just one left. Don't forget to remaster your tapes when you reach 5 stars. I've heard of a handful of species that can be only, only obtained by that way. Right, okay, so I guess we probably it's probably is encouraging us to like grind up then, in that case. Hey there, champ. You here to work out? That's it. Uh, this one, dude. Where's your gym pass? Go get a gym pass from Wilmer over there, and I'll give you a custom talk to the workout. Catch you later. Okay. What have you got? Let's get a. Uh, I want to get more. Train with two more captains to unlock. Unlimited access to gym facilities. Respawn pouch. These are some pretty cool things that I should have been looking into. How many is in your pocket? Will upgrade your ability and adapt your ability to inflict damage at the start of battle. If it was in use before the battle started. It's interesting. We already bought that bolt and Virgo fair, right? Because it gives additional AP. Uh, make your fusion meter feel 5% faster. When you land a time advantage hit, critical hit. So this is just all fusion meter. Oh, okay, recording mod. Merchant skilled membership gives you a better rate with merchants in our town. Prices are reduced by 5%. Is it worth me just buying all this? 
Uh, this is a great microphone for your cassette player. will improve the chance of successful recording my phone uh, Rangers will provide additional resources to Dr. Pensby, allowing her to stock one additional kind of cure. Extra coffee. One extra sticker. Mm. Increasing the amount of respools. Increasing the amount of perfume silly that you can carry. Coffee, cure, redeodorants, rewinds. I feel like that's our most immediately useful thing that can just like benefit benefit us in, benefit us instantly. So I'll take that. Okay. What's in this? A themed booster pack of stickers. Buy one of each. Astral wall, astral resistance. Nature. Woodcutter. Now oh, that is more useful. Pollution. Poison coating. Waterproof. Wildcard. Face shift. Caesar can attack. This can hit ghosts. That is actually quite useful. Um, it hits a whole team. Damages the target each time it transforms. It's cool. Let's get another nature pack. Nat Let's get like three of these. Poison pollen. Bone cannon. Grounded. Okay. I'll do. Let's uh, head on over. We have a fully healed party now, right? So I think it probably is worth going up that area, isn't it? I'm just gonna explore. Go to the fall down mall. It's a shortcut. Since you're right next to a camp, we'll do this one. Braxia. Your steel air. It's actually like a really annoying one. Switch out into calf calf will clean up here actually. Go for a spit. You're new. Are you like an ev evolved uh Yeah you are. That is a lot. And I'm sleeping. AP donate. Right, let's just fuse. It did transfer over to sleep, but... Let's just do this. Why are we sleeping still? Considering I just used my thing. Oh, well, okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm over it. Now we get some free buff off. He's just like consistently doing that to me. Right, I'm just doing, I'm doing this and hoping it hurts. Nice. One shot. <laughs> That'll do. God, you're annoying. Go away. Um, let's give her a torrent. Yeah, it's buffing you, but I honestly don't care if it means I can hit everything else. Oh, I can't because I'm grounded. Oh, great. Brilliant. Um, let's just do this. Great. Great. 
astral walls as well. You are so annoying. Why does it only hit you? Why can't I hit? Why can't I just decide who I can hit? So stupid. <laughs> At least that'll be gone next turn if I can live. Oh, confused. At least with confusion. In theory, it should still work, right? Is he just like dragon? Can I not? That's because I'm. That's because I got like it instantly from the thing. Didn't I? Great. How am I losing to? <laughs> like, I, I one shot the rage fusion. I guess I just like committed to the bit a bit too much. Right, Musketorn. Let's go. And Spitfire. Let's go. This practice suit's gonna be a problem. But we move. Uh Ow. 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 That's gone. That's good. I was so waiting for that to like make me go to sleep then. I don't even use oh. these are not fun. That's all I'll say. Let's both just go for this, please. Let's finish off this guy. He's so annoying. He's like bulked up as well. That's why I had to go for that because I knew he was going to like outspeed me. So Kaylee's going to survive this. Kaylee does not survive this. Fusion's back up, but. Great. Yeah, great. <laughs> God, this is painful. Just need you to down to go down. I think I've just been really unlucky with this one, to be honest. Um, I can go to my own flatwoods, I suppose. It's gonna chill the air now. That's good though. That's good. Oh, accuracy down. Don't kill me, please. My speed is so low. Okay, two of them down. That's good. That's good. As long as I don't get like completely destroyed, I'm in a, in a good spot now. He suits up rather than attacking me as well, which is good. Brack suit, well done. Well done, mate. Okay, skin of our teeth on that one. Let's camp up. I do wonder the whole cassette tape monster transforming thing works. It doesn't make sense on the surface, right? I mean, these are just normal cassette players. They're made of plastic, but maybe I have the wrong attitude. Maybe focusing too much on the limitations is the wrong way to think about it. Maybe by accepting that the impossible can still happen, we enable it to happen, you know? Okay. I uh, just had to do a little uh, rejig there because my capture uh, reached its limit on time. Uh, but let's move. Let's continue. Let's explore. That does not help anything. But does this? It does. Let's go.
Not bad, not bad. What's in here? Have we done this? Wasn't this one... I feel like this one was a... Another fight, right? So, let's quickly get some good boys up top. They're all good boys, but Blossom War is a bit of an L for the most part, to be honest. Let's do it. And I chose the two worst possible <laughs> for this. Actually, no, I did, I did, I did. Okay, we'll do a double switch then. So maybe possible would have been good in this scenario. He's... So it's gotta be Shark Tanker. Right? And then... I guess Maskatorn. And then we'll... Fuse. He sandstorms. That is a lot. Evasion and timers and stuff down. Let's fuse up. Shark Torn. Okay. Let's go for a torrent. The yeah, speeds. We tank it, so. It's all good. We have speeds because we're like dramatically reduced in our speed, right? So. This should like really lower his defenses as well. Um. Torrent again. Makes sense, right? Because he's said his defense is reduced. Evasion and speed is fine, so I'm easy to do that. As long as we keep putting chunks out. How does rewind work in terms of this? I need to use both. I guess we just keep going at it. Might go for a a boil. You hot potatoes me. So now I'll be water poisoned from that, right? Oh no, I pass it back onto him. And he's flinched as well, so the hot potato is gonna be real good. And we'll go for another torrent. Because that just like destroys in this scenario. Okay, turn again. Why not? Galactic beat down. He's passed me the bomb. This was a lot easier than last time I did it. Tick, tick, boom. Our fusion's down. It's interesting that the poison getting carried off to Shark Tank there. Because obviously the poison comes from the Blastic type. So, yeah, that was interesting. That's cool. Right. In terms of carrying on. I think I've already done this before, but. Let's uh, head on over here. Unless it's not possible. In which case, I will not head on over there. Unless this is possible. Is this possible? No. Maybe I'm not quite there yet. Who knows? This is, uh, this is possible, though. Scam it a bit. I don't think that actually achieved anything, did it? Oh, I didn't even see you. But I did get the bird on that, so that's cool. That's a cool kind of usage of the uh, new ability. Right, we're going up there, right? So let's actually do that. Hello. Halt. State your name and affiliation, soldier. 
a velocity rifle. Okay. Inflame. Go for a charge. This should do quite a lot of damage, so. Yeah. Sure fire. Locked on. You are down. Flapwoods. This is one where Spitzfire can switch out. And we'll give her a double smack, I think. Bit of conducting. Not bad. A uh, side boom. A battery. Why not? Pretty good damage, pretty good damage. I've lost my unit. We were coming in the woods near our base in Suffolk. I got separated while on autopilot all all and I found myself here. Don't know how it happened. Is this a final altar? No, I've done this one before. Pretty sure. Okay. What do you do? You just give me a route. get to that uh, little rest stop over here. Let's camp up. Kelly tells you about her various adventures helping out people of Top Town. Again. Oh, you're new. I need to work on that pounce. Uh, I think we uh, already fought you, didn't we? Cool. I can get us as well. What do you do? Not much from lots of things. That's another little interesting one up there. Look like there's any magnets to make use of. Nice. There is one here though. Hello there. Captain Lodestein, I'll be with you in a second, bud. I've just got some final repairs to make. Right, you're all done. Levi Lodestein, I work with the Rangers to keep the lights on. Do you want to know a secret? We harness electricity for the town's power grid with these pylons, but we really have no idea how they work. My to get a guess is that there's a unique kind of like background electricity here on New World that these pylons can conduct and store. But these wouldn't work on Earth at all, not a chance. Earth's atmosphere just doesn't work that way. Enough science talk, you're here to take my range captain challenge, am I correct? Yeah, let's do it. His expertise in electricity, so mask toy is... and... Grass Doge, potentially. I can probably keep out um, these guys for now, actually. Unless, no, I think it's worthwhile switching to Muscatorn, actually. Just to get the, uh, the ball moving. Smack this man a spear. Get some AP out of that. Iron fillings. I mean, that's fine. He broadcasts. Okay. A plastic knife, so I can debroadcast whatever he's doing. We'll go for a charge on Mana Spear.
kind of already see what your strat is, but... Okay, we should be able to uh, counteract this a little bit, which is good. Plastic Knife and Lodestein. And we'll go Battery on Mana Spear here. Get some crits off, which is good. Conductiveness takes him down. And she's down. That's a good start. Now he's insulated as well with contact damage. He's, he's just going to keep trying to spam broadcast to get it back up again, and we're just going to keep on blocking it. So I'm all good with that. Give her a charge. And pass it again. Load of scenes, not having a fun time. Shocking. You're performing better than I thought you would. What have we got? Ooh. You and you. Let's give her a plastic knife again. And give her a battery again. So I just charged. It makes sense to get any use of the crits. Broadcast. Who would have thought? Goodbye, broadcast. And... Double smack again. I think this might just be like an AI thing that we've kind of exploited by proxy. This is a very easy fight, though. Nice. Battle was won. That was a pretty electrifying fight, if I say so myself. If you give me the puns, it's a force fabric. Go on, here's your reward. Okay. And battery as well, and all of up. I'd really love to chat a little bit longer, but unfortunately I have some maintenance work left to do here. Good luck out there, bud. Okay, thank you, man. There's so, another ranger down. Uh, so, in terms of um, what to do next. I thought I saw something over there, there. I clearly didn't, did not at all. I think I head down. I haven't actually activated you, right? What do you do? If I activate all of these. Nice. Now I just need to actually get up there, which is uh, easier said than done, apparently. Flame, plastic, base tape. I think to finish off this episode and this session, I'm going to do a fusion swarm. Let's do it. Wow, okay. This seems quite achievable for my lineup here, so that's good. I will go for a quick in flame. And item wise, I shall rewind just to bulk up Cat 5 here. Good damage. Let's see, sharpens up. They all sharpen up. That damage is going to get out of hand potentially soon. Let's get for that. And. For a charge on you. It's one down. They're dodging. Okay. Alright. Okay. You're burning. Also. I will go for. That on you, and this on you. Parry stance. Glad I didn't go for you then. I missed. Are you gonna give me? Yes, excellent. This is good news. So. 
every time I can't see you again. In terms of... This is gonna, like, now hit all of them, right? In theory. They are all targeting... My guy. Yeah, he's hitting them all. That's good. Right. Let's bring you down a bit, please. Start humbling some guys. Parry stance. And he goes. Nice. Parry stance. Good damage. Good damage. He's conductive now as well. As are you. I think we're a bit ahead of them now in terms of like order of things. So we should be able to kind of keep a good pace here. Mana Spare 2.0. That is. That is a weird ass looking dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Okay, right. Let's give her a charge. Why not? So I can get the crit it's from uh, the battery afterwards if I need to. Got the inflame with the conduction as well. Right, in flame and battery. That should be. That should do it. He's really tanky, too far to him, but I think he still should go down here, just with the amount of residual he's taken from the flames and stuff. Yeah. Nice. That was a nice and quick one in the end. Oh, there's more. <laughs> but they are. I guess it's a fusion of two mana spears. So I thought it might just be like a five star tape but I guess it wasn't go for an energy, energy shot whilst we've still got the multi attack makes sense too an inflame nice and inflame again oh I just inflamed myself there rather than right wouldn't have been good Let's give him an avenge shot. That might just do him, to be honest. Cool. Yeah, that's the, that's the perfect. Like, that was the absolute perfect rogue fusion we could have hoped for. Oh, and that's a heal. Following on from that one. I wonder what life is like for the citizens of Harbour Town who are born here. I mean, this whole world is all they've ever known. And yet, people like us keep describing whole worlds of people and places. But we find it hard to comprehend what we're talking about. But then, on the other hand, they're much more used to the ever-present monster population. I guess it is very much a town of two halves. Yeah, Kaylee, you're right. I agree. Okay. I think I'll call this episode there so thank you guys for watching um it's been quite a long session today so i feel pretty good about that uh i hope you guys enjoyed see you later